And welcome back to Flexible Games, where we are playing Fortress Craft Evolved Frozen Factory. Well, the OET is a little over 20% charged. Um, I boxed that, uh, kind of waited around, let that box build up. Nothing special happened. As you can see, the, o, uh, the C5 is starting to alter the land a little bit. It doesn't really make it warmer. It's kind of a misnomer. Um, but. We will soon have ore. I'm going down to the chromium area to grab the ore that that thing has produced um, because I know it's probably close to done. Should be done. Should be long done, actually. And we have... Oh, there's the... No, don't... Don't you... Oh... It always happens at the Toxic Caverns. Falling falling into the lift, it always happens when I cross into the Toxic Caverns. I don't know why, but that's when it happens. One more for the road. I really should set up teleporters for this little leg of the journey. Alright, let's go. Oh, I heard it. Yeah, and this little, just passing around, going around the toxic caverns, I already have another almost 50 organic rocks, so that pays to be, sit in the organ or the cold caverns a little bit. So this thing is done, and you do not want to leave the game with this thing waiting to offload the ore. A very bad idea. Am I out of inventory? I am. Inventory full. Oh, I can't actually hold all that much ore in my inventory. I forgot about the inventory thing. Uh, and it's just such a pain in the ass. Sorry. Sorry, DJ, but that is a royal pain in the ass. Really? Oh yeah, these share inventory. How much more does this have? 500 left? Oh, are these all full? Yes. I really need the two so a 2,000 slot offer. That would really help. Oh, these are all empty too. Good lord, what a nightmare. How much more? 48. And as soon as this offloads its, its amount, it will destroy itself. I'm going to put them over here. There we go. Oh. And there it goes. Destroys itself and the ore that it was mining. So once all the ore is out, you can actually safely take out the rubble that's, that's left. Just like that. And I don't have any inventory space, obviously. Wow, what a nightmare. I mean, at least let us put more than 150 of this ore in since we have to use so much of it. And I don't want to power it yet, but I want to place it so it gets it out of my inventory. And for some reason, I have 10 of them. I should only have nine. I could have sworn I only made nine of them. So I guess it doesn't get out of my inventory. So now we really have no way to process this ore at all 
Oh, yeah, don't stand on top of one of those. Forgot about that. Well, let's... Really? Oh, yeah, I still have this stupid titanium in here. Get rid of that. Hope that despawns sometime soon. Yeah, so all I need to do is power this, is put a battery on it. I don't want to really power it yet, because if I leave the game, I lose all the ore that's in there. Yeah, I wish I would have built a 2,000 slot hopper. That would have, that would have helped immensely. Having more inventory space would have also helped. Didn't really plan for that. Because I completely forgot about the 150 stack limit. I'm tempted just to get the mod that quote unquote fixes that little problem. Because this whole game, I haven't really been carrying any ore. From the very beginning of the game, I carried a little bit of ore just to build up some conveyor belts and stuff. But. After that, after it was automated, yeah, I didn't carry any ore on me at all. So I think we got 2,048 ore out of that hard rock grinder. And that boils down to um, just a few hundred ingots. So we're also going to want a hard rock grinder, a couple of them, for molybdenum. And that is a little deeper. I think it is a little deeper. So it's going to be a little bit more power moving. Let's see how far the cryoplasm is. It seems to be holding steady at 256 meters, which is good. But I want to go up and um, process those scans of unknown that we did last episode. Once I can process those, that'll give me some good RP, thank goodness. I need it. I need the RP. Plus, I need to check on how that research is going. Make sure that we're not stalled. We are not, but I can put some more research pods into here. Well, let's uh, go get them. So advanced, so this was, this is gold based. So advanced, this one was nickel, I think. And obviously this one is titanium. And missiles are going strong. OET is charging. Good times, good times. All right, scans, unknown material. Look at all the RP we get out of this. 32, 32, and 10. Uh, this one was probably the, the spawner. And these, ooh, look at the power required. Ouchies. So there's a cryoplasm with the lowercase p. Ooh, yeah, look at that. Charging up from the hub. The hub. All right, 1120. So this will probably be the cryoplasm with an uppercase p. So 1120, there we go. There's the uppercase P. So now we got lots of RP, awesome. We got another 103 points. And we've got another project, basic cryoplasm defense, which is XL advanced and imbued machine blocks, which is fine, which unlocks, uh, let's get to it, the Lancer. That's all that unlocks, unfortunately. Particle filtration, we're a little bit far, far further away from, but this large vein extraction, this is what we want. So let's get an area set up for that. Um, we're gonna want some storage hoppers, some actually big storage hoppers. Uh, yeah. Uh, so let's build this up. 10, 11, 12. So this thing uses the, eventually, um, once this research is done, um, I'm just planning for the future here. Uh, we're going to want some power, a major amount of power. And I think this is a good spot because we have a lot of power available to us right here. So 
with that, we're going to want, let's say we're going to branch off of this one here. So of course, let's uh, go over here. Yay, signature train. Okay, that is six, no, four, eight, 12. That is 12, that is 2,400 possible ore. Because this thing, when it smelts, it will smelt, uh, it, it will grab like 16 at a time. So we're gonna want a lot of, a lot of process ability. I think it's 16 at a time for the arc smelter. So we're gonna want a smelter right here. I might, I might have one. I might have an odd smelter. I'm not sure. I, I mean, it's nothing to craft another one. Da, 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 there it is. No, that's basic. We don't want a basic. Sorry. Okay, I don't see one in there. I don't think I have one in here. So, we want a ore smelter. And let's get one more, one more hopper, one more big hopper. Huge, sorry, huge storage hopper, not big hopper. Did I not craft it? Ah, dang it. Huge craft. Oh, I'm full, that's why. Stupid game. Okay, let's uh, go to Chronic Control and or Smelter and plop that baby down. Let's set this to remove only and put. Oh, I gotta craft it. Put this right here. This is gonna be add only and put what little ore we have in there. <clears throat> Not able to find any ore because we need the we need the arc smelter upgrade on there, and for power we are gonna slap that power in there. We may need more, and if we need more, I can pull power from this little guy here and push it in onto the top, because the smelter upgrade will go on top. I'll be able to pull power from this way right into the side. So let's clear out a little bit of space out of our inventory and try to grab as much of that ore as we can. How am I doing on defenses? Looks like we're doing okay. Just these fast buggers that come in, uh, they kind of just dive bomb and kamikaze their way in here. And they get a couple shots off, but we ended up, you know, in the end we destroy them. So I want get rid of gears I can get rid of the so there's put that in there so it's a hundred and we have a bunch of green lasers we don't need uh, oh yeah I found I while I was down in the cold caverns you saw the rubies yeah I went to a cave and there were 17 rubies in just a little tiny area so we got lots of rubies uh, deep stone I can macerate and ooh, we have a lot of chilled cavern stone uh, matter movers I can put away matter movers can go away the induction can go away for now um, I don't need these hardened definitely don't need these power storage blocks I could upcraft those I think Let's see, logistics hopper, I don't, I mean, I don't need it for now, but uh, copper wire I don't need. I'm trying to, anything that's below 100, nano disintegrator, uh, turntable I don't need, conveyors, any other miscellaneous basic PCB I don't need, primaries, Anything to really give me a lot of inventory space here. Um, research parts I don't need for now. 
So this is going to get macerated. This is going to get macerated. These will. This will get put away. Uh, those are going to keep. Those I'm going to keep. Those I can actually put into a chest as long as I can. As long as there's space. So that's. That's a good amount that I cleared out here. I'm slowly building up, as you see, my titanium plates and my conductive PCBs, because unless he's changed the recipe, that mark, mark, uh, that arc smelter upgrade is going to be pretty expensive. <clears throat> All right, let's see. I need to macerate and do all the, I have a, this hard rock grinder I don't really want in my inventory. So let's put this away right there. Oh, there's the research parts that I was processing. All right, let's go over here. First order of business, get rid of this organic part. Then get on to the maceration. It's so tempting to say that word wrong. There it is. Now we have lots of space. Let's go check really quick my missiles, see if my armor piercing, um, see if I'm using any of those. I may not be. This would tell me right here. Oh, I've got actually 95 free. Not enough to get rid of all of them, but it's a start. Doesn't look like I have any imbued missiles in there right now. That is unfortunate. So yeah, we got lots, lots and lots of missiles. This is still emptying out of all the basics. Should we turn basics off for a little bit and let, let some of the some of the better ones go? Seems like a good idea. All right, I'm going to run down, grab that ore. And well, let's see. I mean the the episode is just about over, so cutting it here would be kind of futile. Looks like I need a few more. I want a few more missiles. Just a little bit more missile production. Oh, yeah, we are. How are we? How are we out? Of fuel. Is it the research? I bet you, yeah, it's the research that's doing it. Crapola. Um, that research is killing me. I should not have started that, but we desperately need this research done. It's killing me. It's killing me. Yeah, we don't want to run out of power here. That would be a bad very very bad thing um very very bad thing what is this thing doing right now this thing is not doing anything i'm gonna set this up i really need to build a a jet pack promised somebody that I would build it in this recording session so I really need to do that but I need some extra power or I need some extra composite fuel to be able to do that all right are you gonna upgrade there you go there you go uh, I'm just gonna lend you just because Oh. All right. 
now I need a few uh, of these empty fuel canisters because for some reason oh they're all in here okay never mind Canisters. Yeah, they're all in here because this one is not getting all the power it needs. This one is. It should be anyway. Not I've added added that one. So let's close this off. Grab all of these. Put them all in there. And now they should all be going up into this one. All right. Well, that'll do it for this episode. I will run down, grab that, grab as much of that ore as I can, bring it up to the surface, uh, put it in there, and wait for this research to finish because we really don't have anything else to do until that research is done. So that'll do it for this episode. I thank you for watching and I will see you next time.